Good morning everyone. In the workshop today we've got a 2013 Transit Custom. It's come in with ABS light, traction light on the dash. He's had it somewhere else before, they've given it a scan and they've said it looks like the left rear sensor's gone. So what I've done is I've pulled it up on the live data as I drove it down the forecourt to see what we had going on. We don't have a signal on rear left but we've got speed signals on the rest. So I've been given the privileges of the ramp because I know the way they run these wires is ridiculous. They go above the fuel tank. So we've got the ramp today. Um, I've got it all set up all ready to go. And we're gonna take the back wheels off, see what we've got going on. I'll catch up with you in a minute when she's in the air. All right, we've got the van in the air. We've got both of the wheels off. What we're gonna do is we're at the rear right. We know we've got a rear left sensor fault at the moment. So we've come to the right to make sure we know what we need because we know this sensor's working. So I've got the plug off and we're just gonna test it, see what we've got going on. So on pin one, we've got our earth. And on pin two, we've got our 12 volt on here. So let's go to the rear left, see what we got, make sure they're both the same. Here we are at the rear left now. Just gonna test this. Da -da -da -dun. So on pin one, we've got our earth. And on pin two, we know we should have 12 volt. Oh, and we've got a dead wire. We've got absolutely nothing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the ABS pump, see how accessible it is. We're gonna quickly run over to the diagram. I'll just explain what's going on over there. Make sure we know what pins we're testing. So let's go. And here we are. So this is the diagram we've got for our ABS. Here we've got our ABS module that's in the bonnet. And here we've got our wheel speed sensors. We've got rear left and we've got rear right. We know got, we've got our live and earth on our rear right. And we know we've got our earth no live on our rear left. So what we're gonna do is go to the module pin six and make sure we've got actually got voltage coming out of the module itself and then we can rule out from there. So we are under the bonnet at the moment and this has changed our game plan quite majorly. So I'll just show you where the ABS pump actually is. It's all the way through that gap down there. So it's battery, battery tray out, air box, which is quite a big strip down. Right, so like I've said, that has changed our game plan a little bit. We're gonna avoid that major teardown just to get to the module. If it was the module at fault, chances are more than just the one sensor would be mucking about. We are under the impression it is a wiring fault just by the basic testing we've already done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the car back in the air, find out where it runs and how it gets into the car, out of the car, and see what we've got going on. See if we can find broken wire, chafed wire, corrosion anywhere and go from there. So I'm gonna get the car up in the air and find out where it runs to, get it all exposed and I'll catch up with you in a minute. So I was just having a little look around on this transit um, for where the wiring ran. Um, I had noticed that it runs from that sensor all the way across this loom, near, well, behind the back of the tank to this multi-plug. And as soon as I look at the multi-plug, Dun, 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 dun. There is our fault. That is the wire we're tracing. It's the blue and orange one. So what I did was I did probe it in the corrosion to see if we had anything coming out of it, which we don't. And then I made a little cut in the wire. And there we go. We've got our voltage to there. So there is our fault. What we're going to do is we're going to repin that plug, um, pull it all out, solder a new pin onto it. And uh, I'll catch up with you once the repair's done, show you all working. Right guys, so we have repinned the plug, which I'm just gonna show you. If I can ever turn this bloody light on. Um, there we go, there's our new pin in there. So what we're gonna do is chuck it up on the live data. I'm gonna set you up and we're gonna make sure that, make sure it's working before we put it all back together and take it on a road test. So I'm gonna set that up quickly, set you guys up, and we're gonna spin the hubs in the air. Here we go, guys. So we're set up on the live data. We know we've got, we've just done a repair on the left rear, but I've pulled up right rear quickly just to show you this one working, which it is. So let's jump over to the one we had the fault on. 
and there we go. We've got a signal on there. So now we're going to take it on a road test, make sure all the lights are clear, put it all back together, and I'll catch up with you in a minute. So we are outside in the car. Just going to give it one of them. And we've got no OBS light on and no traction light on anymore. We've also got the live data, and we're just going to give it a quick run down the road. There we go. We've got all four sensors working there. And there we go, all the live data is good. We've taken it for a quick road test and it's got nothing back on the dash. She's all good, no codes in there, all cleared. Jobs are good. So if you like what you saw, stick around. There's still more to come.